River Place on the Clinch is um, one of those lifetime opportunities. When we started this effort, people thought we were crazy. Um, rightly so, just to be honest with you, when we say, you know, well, we're going to open store and, and then, you know, we're going to build cabins. People are going to come here and stay and on vacation and have canoe rentals. And they just shake their heads and say, why on earth do you think people would come here? First time I met Lindy, we were sitting at a table in here. We just had two or three tables at that time. And, and uh, she was telling me all these great things, you know, that was going to happen around here. And she looked over at me and said, can you see the picture? And at that time, I couldn't see a picture. I mean, it was three or four tables. We had a crock pot and a skillet, I think, an electric stove. And I thought, boy, this woman's crazy. But I can see the picture now. Why not try to do a development that is a model and, a, and demonstrates how to do sustainable tourism that is, um, you know, eco-friendly. There's 20 acres here, right on the river. It borders uh, public land. We are at like the most, one of the most important biodiverse areas of the planet. The Clinch River uh, harbors um, freshwater mussels. Um, which are filter feeders. It also harbors uh, over 130 species of fish, which a lot of people don't realize. The river, as far as being important, it's one of the cleanest rivers in the state of Tennessee, if not the United States. The Nature Conservancy has, has listed it as one of the last great places on earth, as Dwight said, and, and I truly believe that it is one of the last great places on earth, not just because of the, the species that live in it, but also, you know, the people that live around it. We wanted to protect that, but yet we wanted to revitalize the community and, and demonstrate that you could do community development with the environment in mind. So we bought it, and um, uh, interestingly enough, it was so grown up, the building was covered in kudzu. Uh, it had been sitting vacant for decades. It consisted of this old store building um, and uh, an old, a little old house that was built in about 1850, never had plumbing in it, and that's kind of what we started with. Um, and opened uh, the store in September of 2007, and then uh, two months after that, we opened the cafe, um, the restaurant. Two months later, we opened cabins. We built cabins up on the hill above the above the river. A year after that, on Earth Day, we renovated an old farmhouse on the public land into a retreat center. And then um, three or four months after that, we opened the Outfitters with canoes and funyaks and tubes. And so now we're kind of a full service um, uh, outfit. Really our goal and what we, we, we promote here is it's authentic Appalachia. Um, it's not the, um, you know, the entertainment version of it. You come here, you have real cooks that cook real pinto beans and biscuits and gravy. We have live music every Friday and Saturday night out here on the deck and um, you pull up in the parking lot and it always makes me smile and some of my favorite pictures of the place is, you know, there's pickup trucks, there's tractors with hay rakes behind it, there's 10 or 12 motorcycles, a bicycle where, you know, you got cyclists with, you know, the whole cyclist uniform and then even sometimes people in wetsuits with flippers dripping water all over the floor because they've been out snorkeling in, in the river. It's great to hear the folks come in and tell the tales about when they grow up and you know the coke machine sat right here and there was a warm morning stove here and the checkerboard was there and um, how they bring their kids and their grandkids back to the store that they grew up in and, and uh, you know the candy is still here and um, still still that that lifestyle that um, that is so, so Americana and um, is what people are so hungry for. Um, and it's all right here and it's not made up. It's just a great place. And, and you get to sit here and look at the river and watch the birds and it's just an experience. It's just, it's just life ever changing. It's just somebody new, something going on. It's just, it's just a wonderful place to me. All those things come together here at River Place and uh, it's just pretty special.